whatever you are doing, you have a pastor here who prays. You have a pastor here who loves the Lord, who is committed to the cause of God. Don't take any moment in your life for granted. And that which is taught here, please, three things, three quotes. It's enough. These three quotes, if I have to take it out there, I can make sermons and sermons upon every one of them. Upon every one of them. Sermons upon sermons. You are getting this. Don't think it's ordinary. This is valuable. This is nuggets. This, this is treasure that you have to value. If you don't understand it, you, have, you place no value on it. But if you understand it, it will take you far. It will do you good. On this occasion, I want us to thank the Lord. I want us to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. You know, for what he has done for all of us. Especially for my mother. You know, I rejoice, not for anything, I rejoice because, you know, when, when she went down, when we didn't know whether she would ever come back or not, or be on her feet like she is today, we were worried. But glory to God, she is here today. As our brother was, you know, saying, on this occasion, we cannot be silent, we cannot be quiet. We have to celebrate the goodness and the faithfulness of the Lord. God has been good. And God has been wonderful. My, my, my only word to you is that let, let this Thanksgiving not end today. Let it not be a monthly thing. Let it be a lifestyle. And know your work. You know, as uh, Jonah said, when he lifted up Thanksgiving, he was gone, but he lifted up Thanksgiving. And by the glory of God, his Thanksgiving opened heavens unto him. His Thanksgiving Open the bars of the air that are closing in. His hands give him brought him up and set him up and led him into, oh yes, a seashore. And he began to have his limits and started a new one. Let that thanksgiving be in your heart. Let that thanksgiving be part of you. Let that thanksgiving, you know, let me, let me read my final uh, scripture, my final scripture before I sit down. Go, go with me quickly to Psalm number 34. Psalm number 34. Let me, then, let me read this scripture and I will sit down. Psalm number 34. Psalm number 34. Listen to David. Listen to David. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. He said, the humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. This morning, let us magnify the Lord and let us exalt his name. Let us do it together. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord usher you. Exhortation. The last one. God, you cannot understand him. The last quote that you gave, if you have not been here and I have spoken, my last quote is Psalm 34. Amen. Psalm 34, 1, 2, 3. And there's the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, the Lord knows his people and he knows what is good for them and knows what is what, what will enrich them at a given time. But we take things for granted. We do not know the God we are serving. Particularly when you come and see the empty pews or the church. I'm telling you guys, the things that we base here, yes. we will not find it in the mega churches. Yes. I'm telling you, Lord. And sometimes people hate such places because of what prevails in the place. They come and then they are not able to contain themselves here and they will flee. I see so many. They come and then I see if there's fire on the pew. Burning their bottles. And that's the power of God. What's happening right now? 
is the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we shall now invite to the podium our mom and the family that you will come and stand to give your thanks as the word has come. Thank your God. Express yourself. Feel free. All of you love dancing. And I'm telling you, her way of life has always been thanksgiving. That's one secret. I have been talking to her almost every day. And I know what I'm talking about. Since I met them, how many years now, ma'am? Five years that I've known them. There isn't a single night, a single night that we have not spoken. Five years! Five solid years! There isn't a single night, one night, that I have not spoken with them. And many here will also testify that in the night, uh, my group will I will call them and then be talking. Hallelujah. It has been my last Now, my children are talking to me about that day. You are getting old, so you will sleep. Now, try to sleep. And, you are, and I understand them. Because this body is so soft for me. Praise the Lord. But that is it. And I have seen that her way of life has always been thanksgiving, loving God, sharing and, and lavishing on God, and God also lavishing his love upon him. What the, 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 the son was saying, I'm telling you. This woman went through stuff. American language. She went through stuff. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. That even doctors will call her a medical woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. She is. And so if she is trying to testify about the goodness of God, let us all stand behind her and then open our voices and praise. And thank our God. We look out for mom with your children. In the old we run this way. Da da di da da. We are Then 
Now we shall stretch forth our hand and thank the Lord on behalf of our mom and also ask God's blessings to be upon her that she will go to enjoy the more beautiful years. Let all be upstanding those in the pews, stretch forth on him, and those standing behind her, stretch forth on him. From the bottom of your heart, thank God on her behalf. And let God also open the doors of blessing upon her. Let us pray. I will bless the Lord all times. His grace shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boost in the Lord. The humble shall hear it, you hear of it, and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Shall we exalt the name of the Lord? Heavenly Father, mighty God, you are worthy of our praise, worthy of our adoration, worthy to be magnified, worthy to be worshipped. We lift your holiness, for there is none like unto thee among the gods, among the lords, you are greater and above all. For there is none to be compared with you in might, in power, in strength, in knowledge, in wisdom, in kingdom, in splendor, in creation. You created all things for your own pleasure. For your pleasure created them both male and female and all things. And today, we stand together with our mom and your handmaid to lift your holiness and to lift and magnify your name. We give all the glory. We give all the honor. At this time, O oh Lord, we also pray that you look down with your favor. And even as you're giving her the name mercy, let your mercy be upon her forever and ever. Open our doors unto her and reach her with your beauty, with your splendor, with your grace, and with your power. Touch her with your strength. Oh Lord, bless her that many will see your blessings of her there and they will magnify your name and say, Indeed, it is the hand of God who has done this. That it will open doors for people to come also to know that it is only you who has done it, that they should come back unto you to receive such blessings. May you enrich her, may you enlarge her coast, may you order her steps, and may you grace her. Even from this day forth, with more beautiful years, free of all afflictions, pain and agonies, but full of your blessings and your grace. Even from this day forth, we also pray for all those gathered that these beautiful years that we have given our mom, you have given that same yes unto us. If we shall walk according to your track and according to your presence, may you also bless them, O oh Lord, even as I come to honor this day, O oh Lord. May you enlarge them. May you, O oh Lord, cause them to see the fulfillment of their destinies and for them unto them. From this day forth, O oh Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. 
we have prayed. And the same shall say, Amen and Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You may be seated. And you have anything to say to you, you can say to the Lord. Blessings of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So our priest, team priest, um, please um, help us with song to Yes, there was yes, there was
understand me but if you go to strip car you do what they are entitled to you will see all stuff of being strict amen so if you come to the house of God you need to do what your God is expecting from you amen God is good this is why we come to refill with the commotions outside there when you drive into a gas station and there's no gas, your face is going to change. Because without gas, you cannot move. Especially when there's hail or super ashy. So when you come here, you come here to refill. How can you go empty? You can't come here and go empty. Because God is ever present. If you go empty on your own, uh, with me, this is where I tap my refill. I cannot go empty. God is good. Amen. I told you this 89th birthday is not just a birthday, but it's a birthday to tap blessing. Blessings of long age. Amen. Me who said the sort here them out. Me the sort here me the power. Me say me didn't change the situation. That's an amen. I mean, we will swear at the AFA. I don't want to die a miserable death. I want to die with a death that God will say, I'm coming for you. So you realize you send your, your son to go and bring cup. By the time the cup of water, by the time he comes, God has taken you away. That is a beautiful death. Amen. That is good. Amen. God bless you for whatever you've done. At this time, we invite our secretary to bring the announcement. Amen. 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 Please very quick, let's let's pray over the offer tree. Please close your eyes. Even as we pray over the offer tree. Our heavenly Job our God, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the magnification. Father, what you spoke through your servant about giving you all the thanks and adoration. For you are good and your love endures forever. Your message and joy forever. Amen. Father, such is what you have missed in. And Father, Lord God Jesus, seal it without what you have given us. Yes, May it be a blessing unto our soul and to this ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Can we please all join in one voice to sing a happy birthday song to mommy? Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you. So refusing to go. <laughs> we are all happy. 
we are all happy to celebrate this beautiful day with you, Gamma. And as my brother said, may we all receive such a gift, such a blessing. May we all tap into such a Amen. such a blessing Amen. from her, because she's she is a product of God's mercy. Ma, we tap these blessings, Amen. and we are grateful for your leading. You you encourage in color, yeah, yeah, color. Your life motivates us to remain in the Lord, to to experience the goodness of the Lord. Amen. It's a new year of life. And your bomb pie is a new year because you are a crowd. No, a shroud. One more, more years. Amen. We thank you and we thank all of you, friends and family who came from far and near to come and celebrate this special day with our grandma and our mommy. We are continuing to pray that God will continue to bless you and safely take you back home. Amen. So with that, we also have, you know, the celebration of birthdays that were also part of this in the house. And we are praying for God's manifold blessing on our pastor George and the wife Gina, our mother Felicia, and then our mother uh, Margaret, who is currently out of the country. We pray for more years for them. Amen. God bless you all. We have a beautiful cake that is also in the main auditorium for our mother. So, yes, we shall all join you there and then celebrate that together. Amen. This is Open Ark Ministries Assemblies of God. Wherever you are, far and near, you are welcome to fellowship and join with us here in this house where the name of Christ is preached and propagated abroad. So God bless you all for coming today. Amen. Amen. Closing prayer, which will be followed. Oh, yes, please. In the course of the praises, one of our sisters actually lost her bracelet in the course of the dancing and everything. So please, if we happen to find it anywhere in the building, let us know. Thank you all. Please let's all be upstanding even as we pray, committing our lives.
His throne is in heaven and he rules over all. As we have come, we have heard of him. He has given us the fuel of life that you take it for the next week. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you as we are living. We know we are not living in your presence. We thank you, Lord, for the moment of celebration and thanksgiving unto you and unto you only. Thou who have made us, O oh Lord, and brought us thus far. It is unto you, Lord, we lift up our eyes. And where comes our help? It comes from thee. Take us out, O oh God. Secure us and protect us. Lord, that any impending calamity, anything of the wicked one, set against any member, anybody, Father, we come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray your blessings, your honor upon the church, upon the families who are here and who are not here. We say, Lord, thank you that your name is glorified and your name is lifted. Even in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen.